Hello, hello, I'm Lisa, this is Small Kids Big God, and today we're talking homeschooling. I'm going to share five things that are working in our homeschool. So today I thought I would talk on a positive note about things that are going well in our homeschool, and I think it's always cool to hear what is actually working well in other homeschools, and sometimes we can kind of grab ideas from that or um, just be encouraged. Plus it's always helpful for me to look at what's going right and so I can get my focus on the good things. So here are five things that are going well in our homeschool this year. The first is how we're starting our homeschool days. So the way we start is I turn on the song Joy by For King and Country and it's about, I don't know, four, four and a half minutes long and I turn it up loud enough that you can hear it throughout the house and everybody knows by the end of that song they need to be sitting on the rug in our um, game room, school room, and they need to be sitting there quiet with no toys ready for school by the end of the song. And it's a really great way to start because I don't have to say, we're going to start, get ready to start, you have a couple minutes, or everybody knows. I don't have to bother people. They have about four minutes to do whatever they need to do before school starts and be ready. And that works like 95% of the time, I would say. Everybody's ready to go when the song is over. And it just saves me a lot of hassle. Plus it's a really fun song and it's like upbeat. It's about joy, like it helps us get in the mood. Not that we always start with the best attitude, but this has been a good way to start and definitely a success for the school year. Number two is the way we're doing our scripture memory. It works really well. This is our scripture memory box. We've been using this for years, um, but it's, it's just awesome. It's been working really well. Um, again, in that other video, I go into great detail about how we use it, um, but it's working. Our kids are retaining scripture and learning new scripture, and the scripture treasure box method is a win for us. Right now, we're memorizing Psalm 103, and the kids are doing great on that. It's the longest scripture, like continuous scripture we've ever done, and we still review the, the verses in the cards. My kids are just doing great with it. It's, it's a positive for our homeschool year this year. Um, number three on things that are going well in our homeschool is, okay, so this I wasn't really sure how to say it, but we we have all our kids working through books at whatever pace they need to do it, like every subject you're working at your own pace, and then we end up finishing books at different periods of the year. So I don't know how to say that, but number three would be like overlapping, like, school or like subjects finishing at different times. I don't know what you call it, but basically we work on a math book till it's finished. So when we, when we end the school year in like May or June and we have three more lessons in math, we just stop. Like we don't have to finish our math book. And so then you end up finishing the math book maybe in September and then you get to start a new math book in September. But like, for instance, like with science last year, it took us a really long time. So we finished science like in October or something and other things like that. Like we'll get a new handwriting book when we finish our handwriting and everything doesn't line up at the same time. And I think for us, this is actually a plus because it's, it's fun and interesting to do something new in the middle of the school year. Instead of getting all brand new stuff in like August when we start, it happens throughout the year and we get to set our own pace and I'm not stressed about, well, did we finish this number of lessons by the end of the year or whatever? I can just, we go as fast as we can go and we finish when we finish and it, it makes for something more interesting. I will say a little bit of a downside is sometimes I have to do more prep work like in the middle of the year. We, we got to our second history book, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago and I'm still kind of like just barely ahead of where, um, where we are in history, so it takes a little bit of prep work for me, but even for me, it's like interesting to start something new at different intervals. So that's our number three for what's working well for our homeschool. Um, number four, oh, this year we switched from doing four day a week school to doing five day a week school. And the reason I did this was, I felt like my kids weren't expecting to do school or like do work. Like we, I didn't think we were doing it regularly enough that they were expecting to work. And so now we're trying to do it more consistently, like five days a week. And there are exceptions to that because we do field trips or if we have a day with appointments and stuff like that, we will skip. But I wanted it to be more consistent that today we get up, we do school. 
And I think that has reduced the amount of complaining and stuff like that that we're experiencing that we know every day we're doing school, Monday through Friday. And then the fifth thing that I would say is working is our school room. Uh, we started doing this last year and just having a place where we do almost all of our school, everything's there and there's also like areas for play is really a good fit for our family situation right now. We've got two official in school. My daughter who is almost five who just wants to do school so much and she does ends up doing a ton of work. Um, and my active toddler, like we all can somehow work in there and I can kind of keep up with what everybody needs as much as I can when we're all in the same place without too many distractions. So our homeschool room is the fifth thing that's working for us this year. So that's a success that we have several things that are going well and I'm sure um, you experience the same in your homeschool. If you have something that's working for you, share it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.